Okay, can somebody tell me what a fraction is? Yeah. It's a fraction is something that is half of another one. Okay, say it again. A fraction is when like three fourths is not actually, let's say, not equal to one likely. Or like if it's like one half, it's half of it. Okay, so one half or three fourths, those are both fractions. Okay, so a proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. Can somebody raise your hand and give me an example of that? Where the numerator, which is the top number, is less than the denominator. Jaren. Yep, so give me an example of a fraction that is a proper fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator. One half. Okay? Is the numerator less than, is one less than two? Yeah. Yes. Give me another one. One Nick. Two fifths. Is two less than five? Yes. Give me another one, Wainisha. Twelve? Twelve over hundred? One more. Five tenths? Five over ten. Okay, all of those have a numerator that is smaller or less than the denominator. Okay? Now, let's look at an improper fraction. So these are proper where the numerator is less than the denominator, what do you think an improper fraction is? Nick? The numerator is greater than the denominator? Do we think that's right? Okay, so let's do it. So let's see, give me an example. 1,000 over five. Is that bigger than that? Yeah, or greater than? Yes. Give me another one. Shamar, can you come up with one? Okay. Jaren? 5,000 over 2. So Shamar, if you're looking at these, this number is greater than this number. The numerator is greater than the denominator, right? Okay, so see if you can come up with one now. So you have 8,000 over what? 8,000 over 3. These are all improper fractions. I'm going to give you one that is a lot smaller. The number, the digits are a lot smaller than the thousands. You guys like going in the thousands, which is fine. But I'm going to give you one that's 5 over 2. Okay? That is an improper fraction because this number is bigger than that number. Right? Yes? What about 9 over 5? Jaren, is that, a, is that an improper fraction? Yes. Okay, so right now we've covered proper fractions, improper fractions. Now we're going to go to what? Mixed. mixed numbers. What is a mixed number? Somebody uh, give me an example. Yeah. Uh, my, my not, not, a, not a word problem. Give me a mixed number. Any mixed number. Um, 10 over 4. 10 over 4. What would 10 over 4 be? That would be an improper fraction. So we need to come up with a mixed number, which is a whole number plus a fraction. So it looks like a whole number with a fraction next to it. Jaren. Four fourths and one three-fifths. So, so four and three-fifths. Like that? Yes. That's a mixed number. We have a whole number. And what is this called? What is three over five? A fraction. We have a whole number and a fraction. Okay, Kiana, give me one. Six and four ninths. Six and four ninths. Okay, Nick. Eight. Eight. Eight and four sevenths. We have a whole number with a proper fraction next to it. That is a mixed number. Okay? I'm going to show you an easy way to come, come up with transferring an improper fraction into a mixed number. Okay? So, if I gave you 3 over 2, you guys are going to watch. Okay? I'm going to draw 3 basketballs. 1, 2, 3. So I look at my numerator and I say, okay, it's 3. I'm going to draw 3 basketballs. I need to group them. Eric Salisbury, please come to the front office for dismissal. Eric Salisbury to the front office. I need to group them in groups of what? Two. Two. 
Okay? So I'm going to circle these two. That's one group. Can I come up with another group? No. No. So I have one as my whole number. How many do I have left? One. One. And what is my new, what is my denominator? Two. 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 So I just made three over two equals one, one and one half. It's the same thing. Okay? Hands off your boards, guys. One more, and then I'm gonna let you guys do some. If I did five over two, okay, I want to make that. That's an improper fraction. I want to make that into what? A mixed number. Okay? So I'm going to draw how many basketballs? Five. five. One, two, three, four, five. I need to group them into groups of two. two. So I'm going to circle these two. That's one group. Can I make another group of two? Yes. yes. Two groups. How many do I have left? One. One. So I have two holes and one one half. Always keep this as your denominator. Two holes and one half. So if you ever see a fraction with a bigger numerator than the denominator, we know it's improper and we need to make that into a mixed number. Okay? So I want you guys to turn to the person next to you. Okay? That's going to be your partner for the next two minutes. Okay? You guys can work. She's gonna write, you guys are talking. Okay? So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you an improper fraction, and I want the partners to tell the writer how to make that into a mixed number. And I'm gonna leave this up on the board, because right here you have five over two, okay? And we circle. Got it? Okay, here's your here's your one. Five thirds. Go ahead and write that. Partners, tell the writer what to do. Act like they've never seen an improper fraction before. Okay, so Shamar, you're telling Jaren. Dashe, you're telling Nick. You guys are telling Wayne. Nisha? If anybody has Eric Salisbury, could you please page the office? Kiana, you're telling Raquel. Go. So how many baskets? Stay is four. Okay. Let me see. Good job. Okay. Go ahead and erase your boards. We need a new writer. Okay, so switch roles. Now the opposite partner, the other partner, is telling the new writer what to do. Act like they've never seen an improper fraction before. Okay? So your new fraction is seven over four. Okay, so you, you guys are telling her. Seven basketballs, good. Okay, so who's talking over here? Who, you guys gonna work together? Okay, Raquel, why don't you tell Kiana what to do? You can do it on your own, but you need to tell her as well. Okay, so who's writing? First of all, go ahead and write the fraction somewhere. Okay, so you drew how many basketballs? Seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need to circle groups of what? Two. Four. Four. Okay, so you circled the group of four. Can you circle another one? No. No. So how many are left? Three. So you have one group and three. Four. Three fourths. Good. Oh. You guys got it? Okay, can I see? Okay, so one group and over. Good. There's not a test about this at the moment, Shamar, but you will need to know this. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you 
I'll show you what you should have on your board. So how many basketballs am I drawing? Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixteen, sevent